What's up guys, Fisherman Squad here. And you already know, today we on the rip tide. Let it rip, baby. All right, so right now we have crab and a worm that I caught in my backyard. We're about to see what we can get with this worm right now. Here's one of the guys from Riptide right there. He's hiding. But right now we're about to see what we can catch. I got a crab right here and I got a worm. I caught in my backyard last night. I went digging for the worms like always and the worm is filled with sand. Let's see how this does. I just wanted to see what was going to happen after uh, I'm digging it up in the backyard. So right now we're about to get it on and hop in. All right, we here today. My boy Ken over there. Ken, say what up? All right, Ken brought two friends with him also. You know what I'm saying? We all here. All right, let's go. Porgy. There we go, guys. Nice porgy there. Right, let's get him in the. So guys, I wasn't recording, but I just caught my first week fish. That's the bucket list right there. Look at that. You know what I'm saying? I'm very happy right now. I knew it was that, and I didn't want to lose it. That's why I didn't press the record button. But man, I'm happy. I'm happy. Look at that. Woo! Look at that. Hold on. So look at that, Jesus. I don't know what is that he got sticking out of his mouth right there, but this is the biggest fish I've ever caught. <laughs> Woo! He's going in the cooler. <laughs> porgy, Porgy. Porgy shake head. He ain't even that big. Uh, porgy, of course. Mm -hmm. So guys, my line got tangled up and I had a bite at the same time. How crazy is that, right? Look at this. Let's see what we're bringing up. It's a porgy head shake. Yeah. Yeah, porgy. Not too big though. Because he's not trying to swim down too far, so. Yeah. There we go. Another porgy in the boat right there. Yep. Ken, friend got a weak fish right there. And some porgies in the boat. I don't know what kind of deal Ken got with the porgies. I think he's, I don't know, he's cheating or asking people for fish like he always does, but he got a bunch right there. Yeah, he, he's doing pretty good. Yep. It's a nice day out. He got something on right now. What you got, Ken? Are oh, you changing your bait? Oh, Ken. Beautiful day. Mother for you. You got a blackfish over there. Look at this. I can't escape you guys. You're lucky your tail is not big. Uh, cook your ass. So guys, it was an amazing day. We didn't record that much, but I'm just thankful. Look at this beautiful view. Oh my goodness. This is awesome, right? So I'm headed back home right now. I'm not gonna actually do this video until sometimes in the week you guys will get it but man it was an amazing day um a guy caught a huge striped bass look at that right there head in the cut right there Woo! man the wind is terrible right now but we're heading back so i see you guys in the kitchen so guys, right here 
I'm filleting the weak fish. I didn't have anyone to record for me. This is the only angle that I could have gotten. Oh boy. The thing that I usually use to hold my phone up, it broke and I need to get a new one. I think I have another one in the house here, but I just got to look for it. So basically I started at the top of the fish underneath the gills and I just worked my way down to his backbone. The meat was not that firm. It was very soft, so I, it was kind of hard to just get a nice fillet out of it. But it was my first time filleting this fish and I think I did pretty good on this filet. I'm very, very sorry that you guys did not get to see exactly how I was filleting it, but yeah, it came out pretty decent. Enough. You'll see the fillets that I get from it once I'm done. Look at that. Beautiful. Well, guys, these are the fillets that I got from the weak fish. Um, it wasn't too much um, hard. I don't know why, but that's how it looks. So I'm going to just um, fry them up to see how they come out. I'm going to egg white them and fry them up. I got some onion rings going right there. And we'll see what happened after I do that, all right? So let's get this going. So I took the onion rings, I took the onion rings and I put them in the egg white, in the egg again. Just so, um, you know, it could, and then I'm gonna put it for a second batch of flour, okay? So that's what it looked like right now. Okay, let's get this in the flour. I'm sorry, I have no one to film me, it's just me. All right, guys, so putting them in the bag, I'll show you when they, when they get in the pot, okay? All right, here we go. Now, that's what I'm looking for right there. Look at that. Let's drop it in. There we go. It's frying away. That's going to be delicious. Let's drop it in. This is my actual first time making onion rings, so once I'm done, I'll bring you guys back to look and see what they look like. Drop it in look at that wow that looks amazing right first time making onion rings okay let's go over here so i take a little bit of um i use some maggie's jamaican seasoning already that's the thing that we jamaicans use it's a very good seasoning i'm gonna take some black pepper sprinkle it over it a bit not too much we're gonna add a little bit of salt not too much, just sprinkle it over. Yep, that's it right there. Now, I'm not gonna put anything else on it. Let's close this, all right? That's all I'm gonna put on it. I'm gonna put it in the egg and then put it in the flour, shake them up and get them in the pan, all right? So I'll see you guys when they're in the pan. Now, this is my first time making onion rings, but the way you tell that onion rings are done, I've learned this just in a couple of seconds. Look at this. They're not frying like how when you first put them in there. You heard you hear that shh sound. It's the, the frying is, is just is calmed down now. So these are definitely done. We can take them out because we don't want to burn them too much. To the fact where you know they're burnt up and we won't enjoy it, so we're gonna take it out. Okay. Those look amazing. My first time making onion rings. You know, I need to do this more often. There's a lot of stuff that when I'm cooking, I don't even show it. And I should because, you know, it's just entertaining and 
I know you guys want to see a lot more with the fish and stuff like that. All right, so right there, my onion rings are done. We're going to put these in the microwave. Now, so now I'm going to drop all my fish in there, right? This is a sea trout, so I'm assuming it's going to taste a little bit like salmon because the texture of it to me it looks a little bit like salmon, the way that it looks. Um, let's get some of the seasoning up here. Let's rub it in. Get all the seasoning up. And we're going to put it in the bag. And we're going to shake, close the bag and shake it up, all right? Let's close the bag up. There's enough flour in there for all the fish that's in there. Okay, all right, I'm going to shake this bag up, and I'll see you when I'm putting it in the pot. Shake it up. Everything is in the bag. Shake, 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 shake. All right. <laughs> okay, now we're going to get it in the pot, all right, guys? Wow, that's nicely floured. There we go. Our pot is nice and hot. I don't want the fish a little. I was trying to just taste the fish. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to add some um, scotch bonnet pepper sauce to the, to, the flour, to, the, to the oil because I wanted the fish to be a bit spicy. Okay, so let's drop our first piece of fish in. And it's going to be fried very nice. Just lay it down like that. It's good. So guys, I'm just going to put about two pieces in here. And you guys will see them when I'm done. Okay. All right. I'll see you back later. I'm going to make some tartar sauce. We have some Heinz dill relish here. All right. That's going to be what I'm putting on the bread for the fish. All right, we take a bunch of that stuff, put it in there. Then, after that, I'm going to take some mayonnaise. So guys, again, I'm sorry. I'm the one holding and doing everything at the same time. So we're going to... We are going to mix that up. All right, so I'm going to mix it up and get back to you guys, all right? Because it's hard for me to do this, hold it and do this at the same time. As you can see, the thing keeps spinning. Give me a second, I'll be right back. So guys, that's how my tartar sauce came out, okay? There it is on the bread. We're going to take a piece of fish. You know, this is not the firmest meat. As you can see, it's falling apart. There we go. And I'm gonna grab me a piece of cheese. Cause I like to have me a slice of cheese now and then. I don't make it a habit. Slice of cheese, we're gonna slap that on there, okay? We have some salad here. We're gonna put that on the bread also. So we put that right there. Yo, that is going to be a yummy fish sandwich. Look at that. Let's put this on this side here, see. And I got me my onion rings. Let's put them here. Okay. Wow, that is going to be delicious. Look at that. Let's try the sandwich and see how it is, okay? If I could get it up. Mm. That fish is amazing. Wow. Mmm. Mm, mm. And the tartar sauce. Whoa. Take a little piece of fish from and just put a, some tartar sauce on it. Mmm. Oh. The onion ring. Yes. Mm hmm. Well, guys, thank you for watching. 
I'm going to enjoy this. And I'll see you in the next one. I look tired because I am tired. But keep on fishing. Fisherman Squire, out.